Hey everybody, what is up? I'm the Mac Mansion. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change your wallpaper in any skin for Cody. So stay tuned. So as you guys know, I've been using the Mimic skin. And I really do like it, but the one thing I don't like are the backgrounds. I've tried all of the other backgrounds in the skin, and I'm just not enjoying any of them. Um, I love the skin, just not the background. So I wanted to find out how to change it, but here's the thing. You really cannot change it. You can't. It says you can add a folder you, if you see below cancel, but I don't know how to do that. I haven't been able to figure out how to get to that section. So um, I can't. I have not been able to figure out how to change the backgrounds here. So what I finally figured out that did work is a method I'm going to show you. And because I figured it out for Mimic, I'm fairly certain this is going to work in pretty much any skin that doesn't allow you to readily change the background in the system settings. So what you're going to have to do is go into your desktop. And this tutorial, again, is going to be for Mac users because I'm not really certain how it's going to be different on PC. But what I will do is I'll leave you guys for any system that you've got um, the pathways to get to this folder from whatever uh, OS you guys use. So I'll leave that in the description. So what you're going to want to do is go to the Go button right here, and you can do this from Finder as well. Then you're going to want to go to Computer. And then you're going to want to go to your main computer disk. And then you're going to want to go to users, your username. And then you're going to want to go to library. Now by default, this folder is hidden. But it's really quick and easy to enable. Now just a note before I do this. Um, it's hidden just so that you don't accidentally delete a folder or a file that is necessary for your system to run. Um, so if you're not a very advanced user, I would... You maybe show this for this tutorial and then hide it once the tutorial is over um, just in case you know somebody else on your in your family might mess with it by accident so anyway to show this folder all you have to do is go to view and then you want to click on show view options under show view options you want to come down here and you want to make sure that show library is ticked off and then once you've done that, just close this and you're good to go. Once you can see your library, click on it. And then under library, you're going to want to go to application support. Then you're going to want to go to Kodi. Then you're going to want to go to add-ons. And when you get to add-ons, you're going to scroll all the way down until you see your skins. And then for me, right here is where the Mimic skin is. You can also see Aeon skin is there because I have the Aeon skin. So um, I'm going to click inside of the skin. And then you're going to see these folders. Now, the, these are the folders that show up in the background section when I am looking for the backgrounds. So I have images in here, but they're not showing up. And the reason they're not showing up is because, as you can see, they're JPEG. You need to make sure that your images are JPG. So just delete the E. And you should be good to go. So once you have your images in the folder you want to put them in, you could put them in like colors or abstract or um, 1080p, whatever you, you folder you want to put them in. Then you're going to come back in here to Cody. You're going to go into settings, go into appearance, skins, and then settings. And then in backgrounds, you're going to go to select the background. Now, if you don't see your pictures in the main uh, folder, then you're going to want to try and go and select them from the uh, main menu here for backgrounds. But if you put your your photos in backgrounds like I did, they will be in the default backgrounds section. So I'm just going to click on one of my um, backgrounds that I downloaded. And then I'll go ahead and click out. And there you have it. 
And this, I'm pretty sure, will work for any skin because you're going directly to the skin settings itself. So that's all you really need to do to change any skin. If this tutorial did help you, please consider liking and sharing this video. If you have a question, as always, please leave it in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you enjoy my tutorials, please consider subscribing to the channel. It would help me out a lot. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.